ಎಲ್ಲೂ ಹೋಗಿಲ್ಲ ಕೂತ್ಕೊಂಡಲ್ಲೇ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವಾಗೆಲ್ಲ ಹೋದಾಗ ಕಾಣ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಬಿದ್ದ ಕಾಣ್ತಾ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಾಣ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಇದೊಂದು ನೋಡಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒಂದು ನೋಡಿ ಇವನೀಗ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಅದನ್ನ ನೋಡಿದಾಗ ಅವನಿಗೆ ಮೇಲೆ ಕೆಳಗೆ ಹೋದಾಗ ಕಾಣ್ತದೆ ಹೇಳ ಕಾಣ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಅನುಭವ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಕೈ ಒಳಗಾಡ್ದು ಎಲ್ಲ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಲೈಟ್ 
The content of this film is not just a different approach or a philosophical thought. It is a fact which is also proven by science today. ನಾವು ಪಂಚ ದಿನಗಳನ್ನು ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ಅನುಭವಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇವೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಟು ಫೈವ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಗನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಸೈಂಟಿಫಿಕ್ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆರ್ whatever you see is through sensors so five sensors everything consists of what our eyes see our ears hear our nose is smell our tongue's taste and our hands feel man is dependent on only those five senses since birth so five senses them give input for that that is why he knows the external world only the way it is presented by these senses Yet, scientific research carried out on our senses has revealed very different facts about what we call the external world. And these facts have brought to light a very important secret about matter. So, brain is not the external world. Contemporary thinker Frederick Bester explains the point that science has reached on this subject. statements of some scientists posing that man is an image everything experienced is temporary and deceptive and this universe is a shadow seems to be proven by science in our day and what is that what is it to better grasp this secret behind matter let us be reminded of our information about our sense of sight which provides us with the most extensive information about the external world so when you see what's happening they are telling the light is falling on the eyes the act of seeing is realized progressively at the instance of seeing light clusters called photons travel from the object to the eye and pass through the eyelids where they are refracted and focus on the retina at the back of the eye so image kanmel bilta rage rays are turned into electrical signals then it goes into the brain by neurons to the center of vision at the back of the brain the act of seeing actually takes place in the center in the brain our lives and all the events we experience are actually experienced in this tiny and dark place so ningella kaanta idu pavan ee kaanta illo sanna tv ide this landscape you see when you gaze at the horizon actually fit into this place of a few cubic centimeters reconsider this information more carefully when we say we see we actually see the effect the rays reaching our eyes form in our brain by being converted into electric signals when we say we see we actually observe the electrical signals in our brain by the way there is another point that has to be kept in mind 
The brain is sealed to light, and its interior is absolutely dark. Therefore, it is never possible for the brain to contact with light itself. We can explain this interesting situation with an example. Let us suppose that in front of us there is a burning candle, and we view its light. During this period, when we view the candle's light, the inside of our skull and our brain are in absolute darkness. The light of the candle never illuminates our brain and our center of vision. However, we watch a colorful and bright world inside our dark brain. The same situation applies to all our other senses, sound, so, you know, today, what is happening? Are you seeing me? Yes. Where am I? Actually, my image is forming in your eyes. And image in the eyes is forming in a small area called brain here. One, one inch. Okay? You have never seen me. You have only seen that movie. One inch screen here. And thinking that I am here. The stars, planets, galaxies, sun, moon and all, only you are seeing here. A small one inch area. If that one inch area is cut off, you can't see anything. So the one inch area in the brain is what you are seeing the entire world. Your entire world is in that one inch area. Okay. So there is no... And is there something outside there? Nothing is there. <laughs> Same thing is true for hearing. Okay, hearing is happening in one small area of the brain. Taste and smell are all perceived in the brain as electrical signals. Therefore, our brains throughout our lives do not confront the original of the matter existing outside us, but rather an electrical copy of it formed inside our brain. It is at this point that we are misled by assuming these copies are instances of real matter outside us.
While you watch this film, you are in truth, not inside the room you assume yourself to be in. On the contrary, the room is inside you. Your seeing your body makes you think that you are inside of it. However, you must remember that your body too is an image formed inside your brain. So, what you are watching here, this room appears to be outside of you. The room and your body is inside the image. It's the other way. So this is called Maya. And you always think that there's somebody somewhere, somewhere, somebody sitting somewhere, doing something. It's all happening in your head. Head is happening in your consciousness. So how will be life will be if you understand this? <laughs> if you understand Maya, what will happen to your life? <laughs> hmm? So what will happen to your life when you understand Maya? Changes. Changes how? Free. <coughs> you relax. This this actually you have, end, you have taken ticket for virtual reality musho. <laughs> okay. So enjoy it. <laughs> Sometimes it looks like a half hour show. It's okay. <laughs> oh, what did you understand? What did you understand? I know. You know. <laughs> so there is nothing outside of you. Everything happening in your consciousness. Okay. Will you go for the job tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> Who goes to the job tomorrow is the character in the movie. You are not going, you are not coming. The I never goes and I never comes. The real you never moves anywhere. The image of you will goes around and has go, may, go, goes to a movie and image is not you. You may disappear, also nothing happens to you. Right? So you are actually in your Facebook, you have a, what you call as another... Uh, Facebook profile, no? Mm. Like that, your Facebook profile you sent here to watch and listen. Your what you call Maya profile. <laughs> <laughs> Real you, you're sitting silently. Undisturbed. Undisturbed. And that doesn't know that you exist also. <laughs> Very disturbing, sir. Very disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> what is disturbing? That's what, without anything, then how that image is going in our brain? That how question is also in the movie. So you have you cannot answer the how because you don't know the movie production technology you don't know. Okay? You'll never know also. Do you know how mobile phone works? How this mobile phone works? From somebody talking from somewhere, how will you hear? The tower is there. The tower is there, but how it works? You don't know. So there's another technology. There's somebody's technology, you're using it. Enjoy the show. You have taken the ticket now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so now, after, after taking the ticket, you can't say, how did this producer produce this movie? Huh? How is this screen is like that? You can't ask. <laughs> Enjoy the show. <laughs> now, only thing is, in this show, until the show gets over, you are not allowed to go outside also. Okay? <laughs> right? And no interval also. <laughs> the movie is horror movie, no interval. <laughs> you have to see the show. Before taking the ticket, you should have decided whether you want to go to the show or not. Kaun jiega, kaun marega. Kaun? Oh, kaun? You are watching Savannah in the movie, that's not. You are watching Savannah in the movie. 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 You are watching Savannah in the mov
It's called Parabrahma, Narayana. Okay? Okay? Or Sadashiva. From that, I am appears. I am and this appears. This means there is nothing has appeared. It's only idea. The world, idea of the world. When you do Sahaja Samadhi, okay, there's an idea that there's a world. So that I am appeared. This I am and this appeared. Are you clear? So from that I am, the, I am, this so many bodies appeared. This from this, this means the other one. So many bodies appeared. Okay. And I am appeared as small I am in each body. And between these two, there's a something called I am the body appeared. That's called ego. Which is joining to to different level of realities. Okay. So now you started thinking that you are a body. In fact, you have nothing to do with the body. There is witness in all. I am is the witness. I am is supposed to be the witness. Okay. Instead of witnessing, it starts associating, thinking that I am the body, because of the ego. Once you start recognizing that I am the witness, it will become the witness. It will it will become one with the reality. I am not body. That's one. See, the witness is the awareness. Okay. This is the witness, eternal witness. And this is a reflection. Reflection is also witness. But only problem is the reflection witness associated with the body. So the reflection, the Chidabhasa starts associated with the body. So now Chidabhasa has to recognize I am the, from the original. But experience in the body, the aliveness is this I am. I am. Okay. This the upper, upper I am. Uh, yeah. I. This I am. The conscious, the aliveness. The yeah. That's I am is there. That is actually pure reflection of, reflection of this I, which is witness. But now this I am starts associated with this, the body, because of the ego. Starts feeling that, oh, there's a, there's a trouble for me. Divine child gets associated with the society child. The divine child has to recognize, oh, this is all dream. I have to, I am the pure consciousness. The witness, this witness, which is reflected consciousness, has forgotten that I am the original witness. Original witness is this guy. Awareness. The circle is small circle is saying I am not the body. No, no, this is I am body. I am body. Right? So now what is the spiritual journey? From you have to you have to recognize I am the real I am is this one. Pure I am. This you do in Sahaja Samadhi. So the gradually we can recognize that I am aware of this I am. This is pure I. Are we clear? Two steps. So that's called I am that I am. Soham. First you recognize I am this I am. Then second you recognize I am I. Okay. So you go and again and again go back to I. You become pure. Con you are you recognize your pure nature, divine nature. Any complications? Shall I do a meditation? So this I call it as a darpana prakriya. When you see yourself as face in the mirror and decorate yourself, right? So the consciousness, this guy, pure consciousness, has no mirror. So <laughs> it's creating mind as a mirror, which is not real. And in that he is seeing the reflection and getting confused that I am that reflection. <laughs> So, anything when you see in your meditation, thoughts, feelings, emotions and body, you have to understand it's an image. And you have to go back to original. I am the original. It's like in a mirror you see your face. Right? So, I am not this, I am this. Is a recognition you have to have. That's all is relation. So, right now the confusion is I am this. You are confusing yourself for the image. Okay, understand? So, for example, all of you have a best friend now. Once upon a time, now it's worse than me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, remember your best friend? Are you able to remember your best friend? Yes. So, tell me what you remembered. The happy moments that we spent. Ah, happy moment we spent. You got one image of your friend, one image of yourself, and we spent together. One image spent with another image, that's called a happy moment. What happened to you? 
Where are you in this image? <laughs> you are the one who seen this image. This is the movie. <laughs> you are confusing the image to be yourself. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? See, my dear, when you take a movie photo, right? The photographer never comes in the photo. Right? When you take an image of your friend with you, you have taken the image, that's a photo. In your the photo, their friend is there and you are there. That means you are not there. The one who you are the photographer who is taking the image. That is the pure, that's the awareness or consciousness. It is never there in the picture. So now you are seeing the image of your friend and confusing that it's she. And you are seeing your image and confusing that you are you. But in reality, none of that is you. <laughs> Entire life you are dealing with images, shadows, my dear. Hmm? And the clear day. Our brain is actually a symbolic processing machine. This symbolic processing machine is processing symbols and it takes images, manipulating those images. And we think it's a reality. Reality is only I. Nothing has happened to that. Okay. Close your eyes.